Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 24 7 I'm here to give you guys a what's on my iPad video. If you saw my last video, what's on my iPhone 4 video, I decided to do a follow-up to that by uh, just showing the apps I have on my iPad. So this is the iPad version. I'll also put a link to the iPhone 4 uh, video if you guys haven't seen that down below. So without any further interruption, let's get on with it. Um, I don't really have too many apps on my iPad. Just like I said, on my iPhone, I like to keep things in folders because I think it makes things a lot more organized and a lot more easy for me to look through my apps and stuff. So I like to keep most things in folders, but um, like the like the iPhone 4 video, I will go into detail about the apps I have on my iPad. Um, the first app I have on this home screen, oh, two, I have the calendar app. I, I use this a lot on my iPad, especially when school starts back up. I'm going to keep my assignments in here. And I'm gonna uh, keep track of them like I always do. Um, I don't like I like this better because it's a lot more organized when you use it in landscape. Uh, contacts I don't really use that too much on here. I mainly keep people's emails in here for when I need the email stuff because you do use the iPad for email quite a bit. Uh, notes I use that for just keeping stuff down. Um, I mainly use I think I use Evernote on here. I think I have it on here, or I might have taken it off. I will put that back on when I have when I start school. But um, as far as writing quick things down or Notes for a vlog, I usually use the Notes application. Uh, Google Maps app, I don't really use that on here. Uh, the Videos app, don't really use that, mainly use Netflix. YouTube app, I use that he heavily on here. I use that to watch uh, a lot of my videos on here, especially when I'm in bed or on the couch. I don't feel like watching them on the computer. iTunes, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the App Store, as you can see, I got, I got a few updates to uh, install. Settings, uh, pretty self explanatory there. Game Center, uh, the Game Center application for the iPad. Uh, the camera allows you to use the front uh, facing and back facing cameras. FaceTime, I don't really use that anymore. I mainly use the new Skype for iPad app. Um, that's what I use for uh, video calling. Uh, photo Booth, in case you guys know what this is, I'll give you a demo. This, this is like an effects um, photo booth window for your iPad. So right now it's on the back facing camera. So if I wanted to turn it around, it would show you the um, this is the front facing camera, and if I want to add an effect to this, I can just pick one. Let's go with this um, one, and if I wanted to turn this up, um, as you can see, there we are, and there's the camera. And then if we want to add another one, like a different effect to it, we can do the twirl, and you can use your finger to manipulate the effects. It's kind of neat, um, so I like this. So um, that's what I mainly use this for. It's just for random picture taking. don't really use it that much, though, since the camera in the iPad kind of sucks. Just adjust it here. Alright, sorry guys, I'm just making everything look good. Uh, the books folder, I just keep a few uh, reading apps in here. I have the official iBooks app. Uh, this is the app that I use to read my books. The Daily, I use the Daily quite a bit for my news. Um, I like the Daily, I think it's really good for the price. So I never like, man, if you want something to read on your iPad, definitely pick up the Daily. I think it's like 40 bucks a year, but it's totally worth it. Uh, Marvel Comics app. I like to read comic books on my iPad, so I have the Marvel Comics app. Uh, Macro, that's a really crappy app. I don't think there's really anything good in that app, so I don't know why it's in there. Uh, Pulse Newsreader, that's an RSS reader if I want to uh, fetch RSS feeds from um, the websites I like to visit. And the Amazon Kindle app, um, I want to get that so when I go back to school, I might be able to buy my textbooks on here and have them on my iPad so I don't have to look around um, for books with me. I can just carry them around my iPad. If that ha could happen, that would be pretty sweet. So um, that's why I have it on here. I'm going to look into that once I know my textbooks for school this year. And then I got uh, the Numbers app. That's like the uh, iWork suite uh, for iPad. That's the Numbers app. I got Netflix. That's pretty self-explanatory. Keynote, pretty self-explanatory there. It's like PowerPoint. Uh, iMovie, uh, you guys probably know that. Now, now I have it on the iPhone too. Uh, the remote app for controlling my Apple TV and my iTunes library. WordPress are managing uh, WordPress sites that have like iDrew360. Um, in the doc below, I have Safari, Mail, Twitter, uh, Pages, uh, Photos, and the iPod app. Um, the main, the ones I use have the ones I use the most are probably the Twitter app and Safari. Um, probably the most I use. Alright, moving on to home screen number two. You have my iPhone game folder. These are just the iPhone games I like to keep on here. I got Femi Oil, the original Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja, Dual Jump, um, Star Dunk Gold, Green Day of Revenge, Plants vs. Zombies, Backfall, Back Company 2, Rip Off, Tiny Wings, Gravity Guy, and Tumblr. So that's just the iPhone apps I like to keep on here. In the photography folder, I just got the Adobe uh, CS5 applications. 
I know why I have a, I know why I have these on here. I don't have CS5 anymore. I have CS4, so I don't know if they work, but that would be pretty cool if they did. Uh, Tesla toy. If you don't know what this is, this is like a um, pretty cool app that you can uh, use with your fingers. You can make eclipses and stuff by holding your finger down. Pretty cool, and you can make fireworks happen and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Great time waster, I guess. Photoshop accessor, just editing, um, quick photos on the go. Uh, laser light, this is basically like um, Tesla toy. This makes lasers appear. Wallpapers HD for finding my wallpapers. They use stream after streaming live on my iPad. Don't really use it though. And skip for iPad. And uh, the games folder, I have the Angry Birds HD, uh, Struck Knight, uh, Angry Birds Rio, all the Angry Birds in HD on here, Fruit Ninja HD, Air Hockey. Don't really like that game. Uh, Lane Spoiler, that's a cool game if you guys want to check that out. I Quarters, uh, Mel Storm, uh, I don't even know what that one says, Overkill, um, Paper Glider, uh, Pinball, Rage HD, Samurai Jojo, Rat on a Skateboard, Slice It, Jungle Zombie Farm, A Monster Day, My Homework Light, and 2XL HD. That's what I have on here. Um, in this game folder, I have Carnivores LE, uh, Bubble Ball, Contact Killer, uh, Cut the Rope, Death Worm, Falling Fred, Flip Football, Frisbee, Galactica, uh, Dino Rush, Epic Truck, Infinity Blade, World of Goo, Air Penguin, Dual, Dual Truck, Office Jerk, Ski Ball, uh, what's this one say? Uh, Chrono Spin, GT, uh, Free HD. So that's what I have in this. Um, let's see. In this productivity folder, I just have the Dragon Dictation app, Dropbox, Evernote, like I said. Sticky notes if I might keep some in handy. All about my teachers telling me about this app and this app, I should download it. Splash Top is just for um, controlling my Mac from my iPad. Evernote Peak for studying. That's when you can take advantage of the Spark Cover and study from it. Um, weather Channel and Air Display. Uh, in this entertainment folder, I got the Show You app, Pandora, Hulu Plus, Crackle, Ella Radio, AIM, the Elements app, TV Guide, ABC Player, the Angry Video Game Nerd, Cinemaster app, and iFunny. Uh, GarageBand, uh, the Time Work Cable TV app, I use that a lot since I got the Digital AV adapter. You can check out my boxing down below. In uh, the Reference app, I just got the Flickster app, Bing for iPad. This is a really good app, by the way. Touchpad, that app didn't work as well as I could. I thought when Lion came out, I could turn my iPad into sort of like a big magic trackpad. But it can't read the multi-touch gestures for some reason. And even though it says in the app, um, like, specifications that it can read multi-touch gestures, but it cannot read multi-touch gestures for a reason. So I'm waiting for an update, or I'm just going to buy the uh, official magic trackpad from Apple um, one of these days. And go to your for reading PDFs. Uh, and the last and final games folder, I just got Cordy, uh, BMX Free, DD Dash, um, Mask Go, Mask A Run, uh, Blind World HD, RC, Heli HD, and uh, CIC HD. I don't know what that means. I think it means like Crash the Castle HD or something like that. Uh, so yeah, let me just move this up. Sorry guys, um, and the last final two apps I have is the Google Plus app and the Get Google app. So anyway guys, uh, that was my video, I know this video is extremely long like the last iPhone video was, but if you have any questions about the apps I have on my iPad, uh, just leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next video.